Hello, welcome to VMC. I'm Dr. M. There was someone who suggested a while ago that I react to a video done by the Daily Dose of the Internet. It's apparently supposed to be some of the best dog videos online, which makes me nervous. We will watch these videos and discuss a little bit about what the dog is actually feeling. Generally, I avoid these types of videos because they're most often awful and terrible and horrifying. So we'll see how long I last going through this. I haven't looked at it before. Let's dive in. These are the best dog videos from the past 10 years. Now it says no people or animals were hurt. I don't like seeing that at all because Often people are terrible judges about whether animals are scared or hurt. Uh, so I'm nervous from the get-go. Let's see what happens. Running and slippery. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that hurt that dog. That dog is scared and hurt right now. Its ears are back. Its face is terrified. Its tail is tucked. I... Don't do that with your dogs. If you're going to run around, it should not be on slippery floors. You should be doing this on floors that have enough grip for your dogs or in areas where they can run around freely, like outside, for Pete's sake. And now we see this dog sitting up. You shouldn't have your dogs do this. Their spines are not meant to weight bear this way. Just don't teach this to your dogs. It, it's bad for their backs. Don't do it. You know, we're on the second video and things are not going well. Stella, you want to go bang. You can teach your dog to flop over from a proper sit or from a stand. They don't have to be sitting up on their haunches like that in order to do that trick. Oh no, that dog's going to be so hurt. If you know that your animals have a tough time with glass, you need to be putting stickers on the glass so that they know where the glass is and where the door is. This also helps to prevent birds from dying on your windows. That dog's neck and head could have been severely injured. Like, that's a horrible video. And now we have another dog running on slippery floors. What is it with people? No animals were hurt, it says again. Why do I not believe them? Your dog needs to have proper grip on those stairs. There needs to be like a floor runner or you can get individual stair fabric pieces so that your dog has grip going up and down those stairs. That is going to hurt that dog. It risks injury. That is not funny. So far, we have zero acceptable videos. None of these should have been in this compilation. This dog is scared. This dog is exceptionally scared right now. This dramatic husky needed to get a shot. No, it's not dramatic, it's terrified. I see and it knows. That's not funny either. That dog is horrified. That veterinary team should have stopped. That dog should have been given medication to reduce its situational stress. We have so many options to do that now. Most commonly we use things like gabapentin and trazodone together. And if the dog is still scared, then when they get to the clinic, they should be given one injection that essentially means that they won't remember or recall anything of the rest of the appointment because they are sedated instead of what they just did there because now this dog is going to resent restraint. This dog is going to panic for all injections in the future. It's going to be harder to get this dog into the vet clinic in the future. It's going to be harder to do any veterinary care for this dog, period. If your dog is stressing like that or your cat, you need to stop the appointment immediately. Something needs to be done differently. That's appalling. It says no animals were hurt again, and I hate that's even up there because that means that animals probably were hurt. Like, so far we've witnessed many animals getting hurt. I'm scared to see what happens here. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I just can't. 
I, I, I really just can't. I'm gonna skip to the middle and I'm gonna see if there's anything. This is the last try and then I'm giving up on this. No one Carrying is here. Carrying the dog. No one. See? Look. Okay, do no not one. hold your dogs by the arm parts that him. way. That is painful for them. They're too heavy for that. You need to properly support under their pelvic limbs at the same time. So your dog doesn't speak English and this is ineffective. Um, best case scenario, you've just shown them that when you pick them up, bad things happen and they're going to start to resent being picked up in the future. Uh, worst case, you're teaching them that you're scary and unpredictable and you aren't showing them what you want them to do. But this, this does nothing. Your dog doesn't speak English. They have no idea what you're trying to say or do. This dog's just scared and being held in a way that's painful. That's it. This isn't cute. This isn't funny. This is this is not the best dog video of the decade. Essentially, I got so upset, frustrated, and worked up that I stopped watching that compilation. I didn't see a single one that was actually good or funny or fun. If that's what the general public thinks is okay as far as interactions with their dogs, we have a long way to go in teaching them how to interact with dogs safely and appropriately and how to read dog body language. It's so upsetting. It's just, it's just so upsetting. I read every single comment that you leave for me though, and I, I love interacting with you in the comments. If you have another topic you'd like me to cover, don't hesitate to comment that down below as well. I love getting ideas from you all about what you're interested in learning about. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye! This is just torture for me and sharing these videos, like what do people think this is funny? I don't get- it's not funny.